So today we have a chemistry question of the day, and this one's asking, Fluorovium-290 undergoes positron emission. What element are we left with? So the first thing that we want to notice is that positron emission, same thing as beta decay, beta positive, because remember there's a beta, beta negative, which is an electron emission. Um, it follows this basic equation. So x is just some arbitrary element, um, and we said that it has a, a mass number of 100 and a proton number of 50, and it will release this positron, which is zero for the, the weight, but it does have a positive one charge, which is this proton right here. So zero, one, and let's just call this beta. And we notice that if we have to add up everything to equal that, so we, we want 100 on the top and 50 on the bottom, well, we have 100 plus zero, that works, and 49 plus one, which is 50, so that will work too. So our, our element will be this guy right here, right? So whenever we're releasing a positron, we release this zero one, and we just have to try to figure out what this delta and what these numbers should be on top and bottom. So we know that the mass number, it doesn't change. And this is specific for positron emission. The proton number though, it decreases by one. So it goes down by one. And remember, the actual element is specific solely on the proton number. You could have as many um, neutrons, as many electrons as you want, or as few, but the proton number is what determines what that actual element is. So for example, six, if we had a proton number of six, and then say we had seven, uh, seven neutrons, it would be carbon. If we had a six, proton number of six, but had eight neutrons, it would still be carbon. And if it had six neutrons, it would still be carbon, all right? So everything is solely dependent on this proton number, all right? So what we want to do is we want to see this FL. And if we look on our periodic table, FL is right there, all right? So FL, we see that has a proton number, I don't know if you guys can see, it, is 114 and a mass number. Well, the mass number was given as 290. So we know that FL is 290 um, and 114. Okay? And that 290 was given because it could be anything. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be what says on the periodic table because there's uh, many different isotopes of that same molecule. Okay? So they gave it as mass number of 290 and we know it's 114. And so we know that it releases this beta particle. So we know it has to be 290 on top and what would be on the bottom? Well, we know that it has to add up to 114 and we know that it's subtract 1. Right? So it has to be 113. So we know that our final molecule will have a mass number of 290, proton number of 113. So we have to look, what has a proton number of 113? Well, we see UUT does. Um, so we know that the molecule is UUT. So we know that the actual element changed because the proton number changed. But the mass number stays the same for positron emission. So we look, we want to... Hey guys, remember to post any questions you would like us to answer in the next question of the day down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.